Well, how do you like them apples? In just a few years, you can sink your teeth into a new treat from the University of Minnesota. It's the latest apple variety called Kudos, a mix of honey crisps and zest jars that bear a tropical taste. So, how do apples get their names? Good question. How the Brown first visited an orchard back in 2019 to find out. So I guess you and I are going to be tasting this together for the first time. I feel honored. Ugh. Five years from now. It could be sweet, could be mm -hmm. tart. One of these apples. I got a little bit of both. Might be Minnesota's newest creation. But we can't call this sweet tart. We can't. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'd have some problems. And David Bedford will have tasted the 10,000 varieties it took to get to that point. This color is so pretty. Mm -hmm. I like that too because it almost glows a little. You know, you get. Oh, there we go. Glow. Glow. Okay. Glow. Yeah. Something and glow. Glow tank. <laughs> Tanglo. I Wait, don't know. that's tango. <laughs> We've done that already. There are a lot of rules when it comes to trademarking names. They can't be too descriptive. I assume you couldn't call it tasty fruit. That's right. And they can't be confused with something else. That's how we got Zestar in 1996. We knew we couldn't call it Zesty, so we went to Zesta. And that all went well until uh, the Keebler company challenged us. Yeah. So are you just Googling all these well, names? We have, uh, we have patent lawyers that, that do a, a, an expensive version of Googling. The naming group is small. Usually David, another apple breeder, and two trademark experts. They'll go through more than 300 names. You're looking for just some clue as to what is this apple like? They want something memorable, short, and gives off positive vibes. And maybe even a little bit intriguing. You might think, well, what does that really mean? What does first kiss really mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a good example. It's the first good apple of the season. Snow Sweet, the reason for that name uh, was when you cut that flesh, it is as white as snow. They once had a naming contest. Gopher broke. Oof delicious. I like the next one. Walter Mondapple. Ludicrous. Ludicrous. <laughs> None of them made the cut, which is fine with David, mm. who spent his life searching for the mm -hmm. perfect fruit. Yeah, uh, we'd need probably another five years to decide if it's quite good enough or not. In Chanhassen. So we'll see. <laughs> You're tough. Well, the Brown. we have to be. WCCO News. David helped name the Honeycrisp back in 1991. The Honeygold was one of the parent varieties.